Okay, so today we're going to do a couple of warm-up problems, uh, a couple of related rates problems. These are classics. You saw similar problems yesterday. There's a ladder for number one and sliding down a wall, and then there's a cone for number two. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, work out the problem yourself, and then resume and see if we agree on how to do it. Okay, a five meter ladder is sliding down a wall. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture. We have the ground, we have the wall, we have the ladder. It's a fixed length of five. We have a right angle. Let H be the vertical distance from the ground to the top of the ladder. So that's H. And let X be the horizontal distance from the wall to the base of the ladder. So that's X. Suppose the top of the ladder is sliding down the wall at a rate of 1.2 meters per second. So that's going to be dh dt, and because h is getting smaller, that's going to be a negative rate. Calculate dx dt when h is 3. So that's what we want to find. By the way, if h is 3, we have a 3 here, we have a 5 here, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem and we get a 4 there for x. So now we write the equation that relates the variables. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we have x squared plus h squared equals 25. And then we differentiate with respect to t. So we have 2x dx dt plus 2h dh dt. Oops, that should be an equal sign, right? Equals 0. And I don't think I said this at the beginning, but this doesn't have to be a new notes number. You can just add it to yesterday's notes or wherever you like to do extra problems or warm-up problems. Okay, now from here I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2, just to simplify things a little bit. And then we're ready to substitute some numbers in and solve for dx dt. So x is 4 at this moment. h is 3 at this moment, dh dt is negative 1.2. So multiply and you get negative 36 and add that to both sides, or excuse me, negative 3.6, add that to both sides and we have 3.6 over here. And then divide by 4. Now you never want to leave a fraction with a decimal in it, so 3.6 over 4, you can put that in your calculator to reduce or just do it yourself. 36 over 40, divide the top and the bottom by uh, 4 and you get 9 tenths. So our answer is dx dt equals 9 tenths meters per second. Positive since x is getting bigger as the ladder slides down. How did you do? Okay, let's go on to number 2. Water is flowing into an inverted right circular cone at a rate of 5 cubic inches per minute. The cone is 20 inches tall and its base has a radius of 6 inches. At the moment the radius at the surface of the water is 4 inches, how fast is the depth of the water increasing? So an inverted cone has a point down and go ahead and pause and then resume when you're ready to check your work. So I'm going to draw my sketch. And let's see, the cone is 20 inches tall. The radius is 6. But when it's only partly full of water, we'll call the radius r and the height h. And what else do we know? The volume, the rate of change of the volume is 5 cubic inches per minute and the volume's increasing, so that's going to be a positive rate. We want to know the rate of change of the depth of the water, so dh dt at the moment when r is 4. Okay. So remember that in this kind of situation, we're going to use the volume of a cone formula But we can, if we can find a way, we can eliminate one of these variables. So we want to find dh dt. That means we want to keep h. So let's find a way to eliminate r. So going back to the figure, if we think about the similar triangle situation here, 6 is to 20 as r is to h. 
So we can make a proportion, 6 over 20 equals r over h. Isolate r, we get r equals 6 twentieths h. Reduce that, we have r equals 3 tenths h. So back to our equation for volume, we can substitute that in. 3 tenths h in place of r. Square that and simplify. So we're going to have 9 one hundredths multiplied by 1 third is 3 one hundredths times pi times h cubed. Now we differentiate dv dt equals 3 pi over 100 times the derivative of h cubed 3 h squared dh dt. And now let's substitute in our numbers. Well, we know dv dt is 5, so we can substitute that in, but we don't know h. We do know r is 4, so what we're going to do is find the value of h when r is 4. So remember back over here, r equals 3 tenths times h. Well, if r is 4, multiply by 10, divide by 3, h is 40 thirds. and we'll be able to solve this for dh dt. Okay, we've got a little bit of simplifying to do, so 40 squared, 3 squared, notice that you have a 3 times 3 on the top and a 9 on the bottom. Notice that you can cancel your 100 and reduce it with a 1600, so you get 16. So right now it's looking like 5 equals 16 pi times dh dt. Divide both sides by 16 pi, and dh dt is 5 over 16 pi. And then what about the units? So we were working in inches and minutes, so that would be inches per minute. Okay. So, Today your assignment is to work on the worksheet, Related Rates Worksheet 6 through 10. Thanks everybody.